Hello and welcome back to a new video. I know it's been a while, but I really wanted to finish this. And as you can see, the game now has a menu and an entire GUI system that is basically finished. The fun thing about this is that you have a lot of customization options. You can move around your windows, you can attach them together, you can zoom in and zoom out of things or make them bigger and smaller. And well, in the menu, it's not that useful. You can do some things with it, like you can optimize it such that you have the join button directly above the multiplayer button. So you can double click to enter the game. I don't know, that's not really that useful to be honest. But the fun stuff begins once we get into the game. So, so far it's looking pretty normal, right? So when I press escape, I get into this customization menu basically. And I can move around everything. For example, if I don't want my health bar to be on top of my hot bar, I can move it like into the corner or something. And if it's too small, I can make it bigger. <laughs> or whatever. And one thing that I would like to test out, I'm usually having a hard time keeping track of my health if it's like at the bottom or at the corner of my screen. And because of that, I'm dying a lot in games. But maybe if I put it there, maybe then I'll see it. I don't know. It might be a bit in the way, but I don't know. I think it's a thing that I have to try eventually once I can actually die in this game. And yeah, you can also do other stuff. You can change the size of your crosshair if it's too small for you or too big. And yeah, um, you can also close it, though I wouldn't recommend that. Because at the moment you also cannot reopen it, so you have to play without it. Good luck with that. Anyways, there's also the inventory, and again, you can do useful things with it. For example, you can make it like small and put it in like a corner of the screen and keep it open. That way you can always keep track of what you have in your inventory while exploring the world or whatever. It definitely won't be the default thing, but I think it's a fun option to have. <laughs> so while working on the inventory, I also decided to rework the crafting system, which you can see I added a button for it, but let's look at like the old crafting system for a second. In the Java version, you had this two by two crafting grid, just like in Minecraft. And the problem obviously is you need to know what to do. So you need to know that you can turn a lock into four planks. You need to know that you can use four planks to make a workbench. And the workbench is a very important item. So it would be a problem if you don't know the recipe. And to fix this, let's get some wood first maybe. To fix this, I have decided to just make like a list where you can craft basically. So I can craft my planks here and if I have planks then I can also craft like workbenches or I don't know fences. Yeah. Um yeah anyways. 
I think this is a lot better for accessibility. And this is a thing I've been wanting to do for a long time now. So anyways, let's check out the actual crafting uh, or the, the tool crafting because uh, that one is still the same. I didn't change it. I still think it's fun. And yeah, you can craft whatever you want with it as usual. So yeah, that's it for the inventory related stuff. What might also be useful is the chat down here, like it's, I don't know, just a, a normal chat, I guess. And yeah, the fun stuff is this is um, a multi-line text field, so, and it also triggers stuff like opening my inventory, which is not really nice, but uh, I'll fix it. So yeah, the fun stuff is that you can do multi-line text editing and this wasn't possible in the Java version and I'm pretty proud of that. And yeah, in general, I think the UI is looking pretty good. I try to go for this wood and stone user interface style, I guess. And special thanks to Till++ who helped me a lot designing this and I think it turned out pretty good. If you have uh, any suggestions or I don't know, find that something looks ugly, just, just tell me in the comments.